In this lesson, we're going to talk about the new in-panel color wheels in Nuke 8. Okay, so I have this image of this ink drop here for you. So this is a great image for us to talk about color because this is so beautifully colorful. So let's drop in a color correct node so that we can test out these new in panel color wheels. So I'll just stop the playback for a moment and hit the tab key. We'll drop in a color correct. Um, you can just type color correct there and it will bring that up for you. And I want to, let's play around with this master option here and we'll play around with the gain. So if I'm just coming right in here where we've got most of this image visible um, and we come over here, you'll notice really not a lot has changed in this particular view. But if I come over here and I click on the color drop down, we're going to get a very different image from what we used to get when we clicked that button. We used to get a little, um, another little panel that would pop out and we could move it around on its own and the really the sliders um, and the color wheel and everything looks so much different. This is much better organized and is a lot easier to use. So let's talk about that for a moment. So I can come in here just as always with my uh, normal red, green, blue, and alpha sliders. They're just set up horizontally instead. So maybe I wanna bring up the red values or the green a little bit. Um, you can see that those are very easy to change and very easy to see your results and see the way that they are affecting your image. Um, then we've also got these two uh, sliders right here, which are for your temperature. So you can see this has become a little bit more of a warm image based on the way that I edited those RGB sliders. So you can see that this is moving closer to that orange, more warm temperature but I can push it even further if I want to take out almost all the blue. So you can see how it also moved the blue slider and the red. So it was controlling both of those two sliders um, with this temperature slider. Now I can also change the temperature for a little less common, um, kind of on the opposite side for this purple and green. So you can see how that is also changing the color temperature as well. It's just doesn't look as natural for this particular image. So let's get this back a little bit closer to where it was before, just kind of maybe making that a little bit more warm. And then we also have um, value, or excuse me, a slider here for the luminance. So I can push this up to make this look very, very bright all the way up into those super bright white values or I can make this almost completely black. Now, if I had these kind of centered a little bit more and I turn this down, it would almost be invisible. But because um, the blue slider wasn't really in the right place, that's why it looked so red. So lots of possibilities uh, with this luminate slider, which was not really an easy thing to control before because you had to move these dials individually. So these three sliders here for the temperature and luminance are going to allow you to control all the RGB values at once, depending on what it is that you want to do. Now we also have these little nudges, um, which are for precision control. And you can see how just clicking that a few times, you know, maybe I get this right about here. Then I want to push it just a little bit further the other way. I have that option. So you can see how it's just very slowly nudging that over, making it easier to get some really tight precision control. Now another thing that we can do is use this color wheel to affect our color. So I've got this triangle on the outside that I can left left click and drag and you can see how that's going to change the overall hue of my image. Now I have this little dot right here that I can pull into the middle or out to the edge and that's going to control 
the saturation of that color. So whatever hue we have chosen, we can change the saturation of the changes that we've been making. So let's say I want to make this look more of this pinky purple color. And so whenever I have this little circle kind of closer to the middle, it's going to look closer to my original image. Whereas if I start to pull this out towards that triangle, it's going to get a lot closer to the intensity of that hue that I've chosen. So automatically this little slider is by default in precision mode. So you can see how moving my mouse um, a pretty great distance only moves this little slider here, this little circle, a small distance. You can switch this to absolute mode by holding down alt and then clicking the circle. And so you can see now how my cursor remains on that uh, circle and I can drag this um, maybe a little bit more easily depending on what your preference is. So I can quickly navigate to a color and let go and then come in and start to very, very um, carefully edit the saturation or the intensity of that color. So it really allows you to have some very tight precision control um, and then you can use Alt to quickly switch back over to choose a color um, and with a little bit more speed. So now again just a lot richer experience with these color sliders um, and these are also going to come into effect when we start talking about um, some of the scope features that have been added. So being able to use these to edit your scope when you're working with grading is going to be um, huge. Really, really helpful to be able to edit that intensity uh, and edit your colors so very precisely. So stick around and we're going to learn about some new additions to Nuke 8 in the next lesson.